Welcome to Uniview Tech Tutorial Videos. This video will cover first run setup and basic playback for a Uniview Tech NVR. The picture in picture video will show unboxing and basic assembly of the NVR and camera we'll be using. Once the recorder boots, you'll be asked to select a language. English is the default, but you could also select French or Spanish. Select your preferred language and click OK. Next, you will need to log in to the recorder. The default password for the recorder is 123456. Enter it in the box and then click Enter followed by Login. You will be required to change this password. Enter 1 through 6 again into the old password box. Use the mouse and on screen keyboard to enter your preferred new password in the password and confirm boxes. Your new password must meet the requirements of eight minimum characters, including one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one special character. If you have an email you would like to use for password recovery, enter it in the email box. If you do not, uncheck the email checkbox. Note that a recovery email must be in the recorder in order to reset the password, should it be forgotten in the future. When done, click Apply. You can now create an unlock pattern. Simply click, drag, and connect the dots to make a design. If you make a mistake, just draw a new pattern. Only two consecutive equal patterns will save to the recorder. If you do not want a pattern, click the checkbox Don't Show Again. Now to the setup wizard. The first page is blank, so just click Next. On the next page, select your time zone. U.S. time zones are UTC-5 through UTC-8. Select the date format you prefer. In the U.S., this is generally month, day, year. Select your time format. This could be 12-hour, showing a.m. or p.m., or 24-hour, using military time. Now to set the system time. The arrows at the top will move you forward or back one month. When the top shows the correct year and month, you can then select the day. And finally, in the bottom left, use the up and down arrows next to the numbers to set your current hours, minutes, and seconds. Click OK, followed by Next. We recommend leaving the TCP IP configuration set to enable DHCP and not to change the PoE NIC IP address. Just click OK. However, should you be connecting your recorder to your local network, you may need to set a manual IP address. If needed, simply uncheck Enable DHCP, and you can then click in the boxes onto each octet and use the keypad provided to change the number to what you need. The dot in the bottom left will take you to the next octet of the IP address. If you need to make these changes, click OK to save afterwards. A pop-up about screen resolution will appear. Simply click the checkbox Don't Show Again. To get into the recorder configuration, right-click and go to Menu, or move your mouse to the bottom left and click the Home icon, followed by Menu. To modify our Live View screen, we will click on System, and then Preview. Most options on this screen will be covered in another video, however, Click the drop-down for resolution to select the best output for your display. Click Apply, the screen will flash, and you will get a pop-up about confirming your selection. Click Yes to keep the new view. When connecting cameras to the back of the recorder, 
each port corresponds to an individual channel in the recorder's display. We will connect our camera to port 1 and it will display into channel 1 on the recorder. It takes approximately 60 seconds for the camera to boot. You can double click the channel to make it go full screen and double click again to go back to your multi view screen. Now to access video playback. You can right click and go to playback or again move your mouse to the bottom left corner, click the house, followed by playback. You may be required to sign in. On the playback screen, select the camera you want to view playback for, followed by the date in the bottom left. Dates with recordings will have indicators in the top right. Once selected, the timeline for that date should populate. You can move the slider on the timeline or use the control buttons below the timeline. There are the jump back and jump forward buttons. There is reverse play, stop, pause and play, slow down or speed up play, and finally forward by frame, which will also pause the video when clicked. The slow down and speed up buttons will cumulatively add or subtract from the play speed. With your mouse over the timeline, you can scroll the mouse wheel up to zoom in or down to zoom out. If this does not work, the slider in the top right that says 24 hour can be adjusted down to one hour or even less for more precise time selection with the slider. Areas on the timeline in blue are normal recording, red is event recording, and dark gray represents no video. No video could be a result of the recording schedule, the camera losing power, or the camera losing internet connection to the recorder. Or in the case of the current day, simply recording times that have not occurred yet. Avoid clicking stop as it will take you out of the video you're working on and back to the default playback view. Thank you for watching. This has been our setup and use video for Uniview Tech Recorders. Please check out one of our other videos or contact support at 888-288-7644 for more information. As always, we look forward to serving you and have a great day.